For more on the crypto crisis, one of our more prominent crypto traders is here to help, pro trader Jane Galena. Hello to you, Jane. And what do you have for us today? Hello, Angela. Well, you know, I am quite an avid crypto researcher and investor. And this past week has started to give me warning signs that are very similar to the Lehman Brothers debacle back in 2008. We have now seen FTX, the second largest crypto exchange, fold. And what does that mean for the investors? Well, we've got major investors such as BlackRock, the Ontario Pension Fund, Sequoia, Paradigm, we've got some big names that invested billions into this exchange. And now that we see that it's folding, who's gonna bail them out? Is it the investor that put their money into this exchange that can no longer get it? And now they're going to be the ones that are hurting? Where did all that crypto just magically disappear to? Jane, please explain how someone is going to get stuck in a bad position. It's a matter of that leveraged ability. Crypto, you can leverage very highly to make large profits. However, there's always someone where that leverage is being taken from. And much like the swaps back in 2008 in the real estate market, in the stock market for protecting hedge funds, now we're seeing that the crypto space has some of those same instruments. And unfortunately, that over leveraging has now caused the number two exchange to collapse. And this is a warning sign to me for crypto investors. When we see an exchange collapse, that's not potentially the only exchange that could have issues. Coinbase shut down for approximately two hours. Qcoin, Uphold. There were many exchanges that started to have issues when we had high traffic of people trying to remove coins and to place trades. So what are you doing with your crypto? So in my opinion, this is a great time if you are a longer term investor to say, hey, I need to put my coins into a wallet, whether it be a hard wallet or a soft wallet. If I'm holding on to this for long term, I want to make sure that I have it in my hands. What does that mean? How can I assimilate that to a newer crypto investor? If you were to have, say, had money in Lehman Brothers and you decided, you know what, I want to hold those stock certificates or I want to hold this cash position in my house, in a safe in my house, that would be the equivalent of a wallet. You could have it as a soft wallet on your phone or your computer or have a hard wallet that would give you a physical device such as a USB or potentially a fingerprint device that might open up your wallet so that it is tied just to you. And it is not in an exchange where if that exchange goes down, bye bye crypto, right? That could be a little scary. If you are protected, if you have knowledge about this ahead of time, you are no longer fearful about that upcoming scenario. So my word to the wise in the crypto space, if you're new to it, you have some coins and they're on an exchange and you're not sure about your position, if you're not holding it long term, maybe reassess, see if liquidating is the right move for you. Or if you're going to hold it long term, put it into a nice, safe wallet that you have access to in your own hands. And although you didn't say it, I'm sure you're making sure that wallet is safe and secure. Thanks as always, Jane. Thank you, Angela. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.